Okay, ladies, Virgo season is loading. She's here in full effect. And I'm just trying to practice a few hairstyles so that when my birthday comes, I'll be able to slay. And I won't have to rely on a stylist to get the job done. Today, I've teamed up with Julia here to bring you this beautiful, colorful, vibrant wig. She is a body wave lace frontal, but I wanted to switch it up and give you guys an actual hairstyle. You guys already know I can execute the bust down middle part with the curls. But I challenged myself and stepped outside of the box and turned her into a ponytail with the beautiful wand curls and it was super easy and beginner friendly to do I also added these cute little bangs in the front and I think I did a amazing job at the sleigh if I do say so myself when it comes to my birthday night I think this will be a beautiful look with like a sexy like tube top dress I just got the Christian Dior burgundy tote bag so imagine that bag with a little strapless like nude color dress some flip-flops and i am out the door in effortless especially because my birthday is typically still hot i'm gonna go ahead and jump into the tutorial let me know if you think this hairstyle is birthday worthy and yeah don't forget to subscribe and check this wig out in the description box and now without further ado let's get into the install okay babies let's get right into the look this is a look at the inside construction of the cap we are working with the 13 by 4 lace wig she's in a color reddish brown she's 150 percent density 24 inches in length and the texture is body wave they did include the adjustable strap so i'm gonna go ahead and use that to put my wig on now that she's on, I'm going to try her on for size. You guys can see that the lace is a little bit too long and I had just did my makeup. So had to remove that to not ruin my freshly done eyebrows. Here is a close-up look of the baby hair they provided. It's definitely pre-plucked to perfection. So, you know, I'm feeling that. Here is what she looks like set as a center part. And then you guys know I love with the little like flip over side part or no part, especially with wavy textured wigs. Since we have no customizations to do, I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess lace. I'm going to secure these ear tabs just because I did want to do um, sideburns today. Colored wigs usually are the ones that I'm most likely to do sideburns with. As you can see, I did go back and cut off that ear tab or that's what I like to call it, but we are still going to do the sideburns this is just going to prevent me from having the extra maintenance of having to bond that extra lace down now i'm going to stamp out that center part with the dynamic duo you guys already know the drill wax stick pair it with the electric hot comb if that was a trivia question and you watch my channel then you already know you would get the prize now i'm going to bond it down this is a got to be glued um hairspray it's not a glue but we're going to use it as so because it gets sticky as a hairspray when you apply it generously to your hairline and then you it to dry it acts as a glue and bonds it down but just with a little h2o you can definitely lift that back up be sure to blow dry on a cool setting until it's completely dry typically you know it's dry when it kind of will suction and get a little bit tight on your forehead not tight in a painful way but it just feels like it's installed um you can also use a melt belt to go ahead and allow it to air dry while like it presses the lace down into your forehead and this will definitely give you a melted look in the meantime i am going in and tinting the lace you guys know ruby kisses has been one of my favorite holy grail um brands for lace tint they offer foundation and makeup products but i love using them as lace tint and they do offer a great range especially for brown skin now i'm going in and just cleaning up the hairline it's always great when it looks kind of melted and straight in the front as well as around the parting so i am going for a ponytail look today i'm gonna do ponytail with wand curls and i do want to set it off with these two little bang pieces please let me know in the comments if you know what do you call these i'm not sure if they're called bangs or if they have a different name but you know the little two pieces that come down i did mine fairly full because i am going to do wand curls on them but here watch me struggle to get this ponytail up so i started off with the low ponytail first um i just kind of wanted to find my way and so i here I'm setting off or pulling up that extra um, hair that I want to use as like sideburns. And then I proceeded to wand curl those little two bangs. I did not add any hairspray or any heat protectant, but both are recommended. You put your heat protectant first and then you can also add in hairspray at the end for hold. You can also use clips to like hold these curls in place. But typically I find that with wand curls, the curls 
do last a lot longer so you don't have to now we can tussle with this hair to get it in a high ponytail so one of the key things that i find that works is to use a melt belt to go ahead and hold the wig in place and then you kind of flip your head upside down and guide the hair as high up as you can i'm working in sections so you guys seen i did the low pony now we're at the midpoint and i'm using hairspray along the entire front to kind of just like brush it with my dear life for dear life um, to get it super smooth and then I'm going to go ahead and add more hairspray to the back and brush it so I can get it super smooth the next time I am going to challenge myself to do this on a mannequin head in the past when I have gotten really really good ponytails and buns they've all been on a wig head where I'm able to have more control to guide the front up super 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 tight um, this one was as good as it was going to get for today I also find that when the hair is like soaking wet um, it does help it to like go really 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 tight really really smooth really really sleek ponytail on the wig head and then you kind of mold it and then you put the wig on your cap also flat braids will also help to make sure that the back looks super snatched now I'm going to go ahead and add these little wand curls and these came out absolutely beautiful I love the way this body wave texture holds a curl she's absolutely amazing if I did not mention I do have coupon code in the description box I'll have it there so you can use it don't forget to use it because it'll get you some money off at checkout and now I'm going to do the opposite side. And as you guys can see, she's coming out super fire. The body wave is really cute. So if you just want to do body wave, you can wet it down and add some mousse or, you know, a little cream leave in. And that will be really cute. But this gives birthday vibes. It's September. It's Virgo season. So I just want to amp it up a notch. And then to set the ponytail off, it's always a key step to just take a thin piece of the hair from the ponytail. Wrap it around the rubber band or the elastic that you use. Use a little hairspray and then blow dry it. And because it Again, the blow dryer or the hairspray is super sticky it will set in place you can use bobby pins also to secure that here i'm really quickly just showing you i took the ponytail down after the fact so you guys can see this one looks beautiful down as well don't sleep on a regular bust down middle part she's absolutely fire super duper cute right Okay, love bugs. So one thing I love is when I have a style in mind before I even start the video. So Julia Hair did request I do like a half a pap down with the bangs. And I'm so excited that they did because you guys know me. I'll do a center part or a side part or no part and then I'll do the curls. Or if it's body wave texture, I'll just go ahead and add some mousse and kind of scrunch and diffuse. But I love it when I do a specific style. So they did request that I do the half a pap down. And again, I'm so excited about it. Here is the packaging and what the wig came in this is the box from julia wig in the signature orange color then inside they did include a little goodie bag for me below the goodie bag they also included some extra goodies they did give me the orange and black melt belt I got a pack of my hd wig caps which you guys know are the best 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 wig caps ever and then this portable travel size crochet needle i love the color on this one she's absolutely gorgeous and of course you can take it around and lately I've been liking to do super messy buns so they like kind of like look or appear even bigger and so I would do something like this and then just go in with the bobby pins and pin it up let me know what you guys think of this look but I don't want to mess up the curls because I really do love the way it came out with the big curls let me know what you guys think of this look would you rock your hair like this would you have done it with the body wave or do you like the wand curls anyways thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to subscribe like this video share with your friends also don't forget to check this unit out i do have a direct link to her in the description box and as always i'll see you in the next one smooches